Tonight, law enforcement continues to search for a man who was last seen in Tonopah. It's been 24 hours since a silver alert for John Saylor was announced. The 81-year-old suffers from dementia and was last seen driving a red 2016 Ford Escape. This is just one of about 100 silver alerts that have been issued here in Arizona during the past six months. Thanks so much for joining us for 12 News at 10. I'm Kariba Devine. I'm Jonathan McCall. Mark has the night off tonight. We're going to introduce you to a Valley man who's created an app that's aimed at helping to find people who may have trouble communicating with others. 12 News journalist Chase Golightly spoke with him about why this is so important. It's a cause close to Justin Banky. He tells us his son Jackson is autistic and nonverbal. Worried about the possibility of Jackson needing help but not able to communicate that with others, Justin wanted to do something about it. Give him a kiss. Oh, very cool. Say we love you. Jackson Banky is like any other 12 year old. He loves the computer, he loves the pool, because he can do just about everything anybody else can do. His dad, Justin, says Jackson also likes to run, sometimes without his parents knowing. There's been a couple of times where you'd look out the window thinking he's in another room and he's across the street. They've always found him, but in those moments of searching. Like a frantic five minutes felt like forever, an eternity. Worried about the worst case scenario. You know, he's nonverbal, he's autistic, he's a runner, he's fast. Which is why Justin created this. It's called Scan Me Home, a QR code placed on shirts, backpacks, that once scanned has the child's name and a phone number to call. The caregiver or the parent applies the information they'd want the public to see in the event that tag is scanned. It can also notify you if the tag has been scanned by someone. How this process works is really simple. Once you see the code on the back of someone's shirt, all you got to do, load up the camera on your phone, scan the code, click the link, and with a few seconds, we can see Jackson's whole profile show up, including a phone number to call. And we can pull the information that we need to know in the event he does go missing. Giving whoever is wearing that code a better shot of getting the help they need, making Justin and his family feel a little better. It's not the end all be all, but it's a chance. He says hundreds are already using this for their kids. But Justin wants it to be expanded to other groups. The idea is to help the most vulnerable. Dementia, Alzheimer's, nonverbal. Most of them don't know their phone numbers. They don't know how to tell you. And if they do, it's something maybe 10, 20 years ago. Doing whatever he can to give those like Jackson a better chance if that worst case scenario happens. Justin told me he is launching the app next week. If you want more information about it, you can find it on our website. We're in Phoenix. Chase Golightly, 12 News. That'll definitely be a game changer. Chase, thank you.